Blazer Build-Up. Choose your character. Travis versus Walker. To be a robot or not to be a robot? That's a really good question. So here's my robot. All 30, what about six inches of robot. It started off actually pretty small, but every time I would do something, I noticed that I needed a little bit more space, a little bit more room, either a little bit more length, and so it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. So this started out right around 28 inches and now we're sitting around 36, 37 inches. When it came down to it though, the hardest thing to do in this build was trying to figure out those exact dimensions that I needed to be able to make the arms and the legs articulate properly. If the arms have these little components inside that are just slightly off, the arm might bend backwards or you know might not bend properly. I wanted this thing to be able to position and articulate basically to make it look as cool as possible. So everything you see here is actually completely made out of wood. Aside from a few tiny things like, you know, you have the acrylic, some of the nuts and bolts, his, um, his loincloth. But I designed it in two stages. Those two stages that I designed it in were going to be its chassis and then its exterior components. So all of these components, all these, these armor pieces, they can be removed. So you could actually take this piece, this entire chassis, and you could actually redesign a new, entirely new set of armor and throw it on top of it. In all reality, the biggest thing that inspired me when it came time to, to completely design and develop this robot were Legos. I've been playing with Legos my whole life, and yes, I, I still play with Legos as an adult, but the way that Lego always has things put together and the way that they have their build process is kind of what got my brain to trigger into that stage methodology. Once I got into that, that proper order of events, I was able to kind of you know build it to where I could have it articulate properly, I can have him, you know, look angry, and I can even take components off like you can with Legos. So there's my biggest inspiration. Many people might say when they look at this, I built a Gundam. No, I had no inspiration drawn from Gundam. I mean, I think the models are absolutely awesome. I've never watched any of the shows. Um, I've always wanted to build one of the models, but the actual design itself out of my own head. The way it functions was inspired by Lego, but everything you see here, that's kind of all my own. I'm kind of proud of that. Now I just hope I didn't make a mistake by creating a robot that's gonna take over humanity. And if I do, I'm sorry. So this is the robot build. 
I went a little bit different than Travis. I used acrylic on this build. I painted him all up. And when I was first building him, I wanted him extremely articulated. So, you know, his jaw moves, his head moves, his head tilts, his arms spin. Um, you know, he can bend his arms if you force him to. So, hand spins, his legs move, he sits down. I wanted him to have all this articulation, but um, I used just hair ties instead of like tight bungees, which made him sort of flippity floppity. He's like a robot rag doll, but I think it's kind of cool. It's like gives him life, right? He's got a little bit of, you know, like he's off. Um, oh. So we have the built-in gauges, empty full. He's currently halfway uh, full of love. He's got these little gauges that move back and forth. Um, so yeah, I just wa wanted it to be sort of fun and slightly articulated so he can do different poses and uh, different things. So he's not set. I think I'm gonna do a version two where it's a little bit better on the articulation, but I still think it's a fun build. And if you want to build it yourself, we have this in our free projects page. I think it's, yeah, like over a hundred and plus free projects. So yeah, we'll have this guy and Travis's build available there. If you want to make it, it's a ton of acrylic and a ton of time. So uh, be prepared. <laughs>